Generic greetings, and welcome to Moonbase, a survival game where you play a feline astronaut. I don't really think that's inaccurate. No, I think that's about right. Uh, you land on the planet, you have to survive for X number of days. It's a fairly simple game, it's a fairly cutesy game, and it's cheap, so it sort of ticks all the boxes, really. I played it once before on the channel, or several months ago now, and haven't played it since then, really. N n never mind when I'm doing videos or not, just in general. Uh, so there's been a couple of updates, so I thought I'd give it a go. By the way, today's beverage is... Ah, coconut water, very nice. Okay, let's go to new and we'll try this thing out. So it looks like you can name your space cat. So it's going to be called Generic Cat. Well, it has to be, surely. Uh, and then you can change the colour and the face. So, oh, it's colour of the helmet. So we can go with, eh, we'll go with like a purpley pink. Or like a lilac or whatever. Uh, and you can change the face as well. So we'll go with a Garfield type or Gazop Zop field. And we'll say normal mission. So mission, land on the planet of GAS or GAS 547 and survive for 10 days. Uh, so it's a randomly generated planet in the name. And they've gone with the Stargate SG-1 school of naming. So it's like... P4C767, which um, for some reason always happens to look like either a set or somewhere in the Canadian Rockies or forest, uh, because that's just how it is. That's where they filmed it, obviously. Uh, right, so we'll shove down uh, this thing here. This is our um, oxygen generator. We've also got a biofuel generator, which we'll put down there. And this is problematic. I'm fairly confident we should have had an airlock. I'm just going to pick some of this stuff up here. Ah, there we go. It'll probably be in this crate here, and indeed it is. We have an airlock and a workbench, so we're going to pick up some of this stuff as we go around. Obviously, we'll clear a lot of these um, rocks in the ore and things like that, so I'm just going to pick some stuff up, and then we'll shove down the airlock in here, and then we've got a workbench, which we'll put in here. So that's sorted. Uh, we will also pick this up, and hang on, there we go, it's now sorted, and we'll have a look in the workbench. So workbench, oh, lots, of, lots more stuff that you can build. There was only a tiny section last time I played it, We've got the RTG, uh, which is the uh, uh, radioactive thermoelectric generator. Uh, we've got, I think it's something like that anyway, comms tower, uh, the rain collector rain on here. Um, maybe, I guess. Um, we've also got this, which is a generator, and it looks like it requires... Oh, it's a biofuel generator, so you shove in some of this uh, plant stuff, and you will, yeah, generate generate a bit of power which is powering the base and because of that by extension powering the oxygen generator and the oxygen generator is generating oxygen and that's good because we now filled our suit up right so we're gonna have a quick wander around and we'll see what we can pick up actually no before we do that what i'll what i'll do is go to the workbench and we'll generate uh we'll get some plants uh some plant slop we'll have a water and we'll also have a crude shovel because that'll allow us, I believe, to pick up the ore. Because you can get a smelter, which is something we'll try to make as well. And some weird um, artifacts with the tile set. Can you see there's like little pixelated lines now and again? Oh, well. Could be, a, could be a quirk of the recording. So we'll pick this up. And then we'll go in here. There we are. Pick that up. And just keep going around. You can actually get a car. Um... Which are like a little sort of moon buggy thing. So, we might make one of those eventually. It's not a long game. I mean, the objective is, like I said, just to survive. It's uh, still getting developed as well. So, you know, things are subject to change. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure when the game first came out, it was just called Moonbase. And it wasn't... I don't think you were a cat. Uh, I think that's correct. I think there's some accuracy to that. I think it was just Moonbase. And then it was... Uh, Altered. Or maybe I'm mis mixing it up with another game. Who knows? Uh, suit oxygen is just over half, so we don't have to run back straight away. Like I say, I'm just gathering some resources. Uh, I was looking for some more of that to power the base. Obviously, we not only eat this, but we... Uh it's used to power the base. I'm guessing, though, because of these roots and stuff, and these uh, fruits, which, can we just eat it? Yes, you can just eat it. There we go. Hunger full. There we go. I'm guessing water is... Also, you can do... I guess it does uh, hunger. Right, so we'll go up to this and we can make... Ooh, a root stew, which needs water. Tastes kind of bitter, apparently. So we'll need some water, which we can easily bottle, and then we'll uh, make this root stew. Craft one more, and then there we go. So we've got three root stews. So we're not going to be using the... Um, we're not going to make some plant slop, because it takes... Uh, Three of each? Oh, but you get two slops. That's not too bad. Uh, so we want to make a smelter, which requires four rock and four um scrap i've only got two scrap but how do i pick up the rock i'm assuming a shovel can't do it yes you need a different tool to pick this up so i'm going to need 
What am I going to need? Probably that there, the jackhammer. So I need copper wire. And for copper wire, I need steel. Um, okay, I'm guessing there's some smaller bits around then. Well, either way, there's some nice resources here. It's getting night now, and we can turn on our little head torch. Very nice. Uh, ox wygen is getting low, so I'm going to pick up some ox wygen. Good grief, it gets it gets really dark. I wonder if um, I wonder if stuff comes out at night, like uh, that Vin Diesel franchise with all of the. Uh, was it? I can't remember what it's called now. Yeah, you can see in the dark, and when when it goes dark, all of the bad things come out of the dark. Yeah, whatever that was. Chronicles of Riddick. That's it. Um. Anyway, so oxygen's going up. Um. Base state is oxygen zero, water zero zero. Looks like you can make a oxygen storage thing. Um, we're going to have that, and that'll be now hunger full, yes, and then we might as well head out, um, the base, the base is still cracking on, so I'll just, doesn't really matter what you do with that. Um, I'll turn on the light, and we'll go over here, and I think there was some more, yeah, there's some more things together. So grab that, grab that, looks like there's some more scrap here as well, which is going to be useful. And like I say, I'm looking for smaller rocks. Don't know if they actually exist. Um, and the problem, obviously, is it's absolutely pitch black, so I can't see anything. Uh, a lot of ore, though. Hell, a lot of ore. I don't know how much ore is needed to do things, but, well, hopefully we'll have enough of it. Um, pick up that as well. And I believe our base is this way. There's no mini-map. Uh, you can get a transponder. Thought I'd lost the base for a moment there. That would not be good. Turn off the uh, suit light now because it is coming up. In uh, the sun's coming up. Day two. This will be yeah. Uh, suit oxygen is about one quarter. So I'll I'll just go in here and fill that up a bit, which is now done. It says X of fifty, so it's two of fifty going up there. I'm I don't know if the maximum goes up based on the size of the base. I am assuming it can. Um, looks like there's a smaller stone there, so we've got one of them, and we need, good grief, we need, or was it four, I believe? Something like that. At least you don't have to hold left click, you just click on it and it goes away. And there's another stone, so we're just, we're literally breaking rocks, we're doing hard labour. <laughs> right, so there's another rock up top here, so hopefully that'll be... Oh, lots of scrap as well. Excellent. I'm still looking for one more rock. As much as I enjoy picking up bits of rusty metal, I really want to get a rock. So I'm going to prioritise that now. There is said rock. Also a bit of scrap. But I will... I might as well pick this up. Let me pick the water up while we're here. There we go. And we'll pick up this seed as well. Because we can. Some fruit. And then we'll head back to base. Don't entirely know where the base is. Uh, <laughs> I think it's south of us now. We'll go down. I'll start. I, I better head off now because otherwise I'll I will get totally lost and um. Ah crap. Um. There is a map. Good. Uh. I'm guessing that's our base. Yeah, I thought there wasn't a map. There is a map. <laughs> I was just praying there. Oh, God. Hopefully there is a map. Uh, oh, it looks like that is out of oxygen. So we're going to put... Oh, that's out of power. So it's not going to be generating any oxygen. So we'll close that. And then we'll start filling our suit up. And while that's doing that, we'll actually... Uh, while it's generating oxygen, we will make a smelter. There we go. So the smelter does require power. Power is automatically transferred um, adjacent to uh, to adjacent stuff, but obviously it's going to take stuff to, uh, to do that. So we've got metal plate. We'll craft one, two, three, four. And that is out of power, apparently. Really? Why is it out of power? Or is it not? No, it's out, not out of power. It's going now. There we go. It's also shouting at us. Ah, it's because we can pick up a plate, right? So, fill up the oxygen because we don't want to die. And we are in no need of 
sustenance. Um, that's, why is it out of power? I'm guessing this can only power one thing at a time. So it's it's actually flicking between that and that. It's um, swapping them around. So we're going to have to fix that somehow. But let's work on getting this jackhammer first. Is there a solar collector? There is a solar collector. I'm pretty sure solar collectors were the ones in the start of the game. Like That's the first one you got. So jackhammer requires two scrap, two metal, one copper. So we'll make uh, some wire. It's not copper, it's just wire. Um, this has now got one of those and it should be, there's the second. So we should be able to make a jackhammer, but we've got inventory full. So we will make um, a hearty meal apparently, but we can't craft it because, it, right, can we drop these? Um, there might be a way to drop them. Surely there's a way to drop them. Um, can we not clicky, clicky, no, clicky, drop, drop, why you no drop, okay, uh, hang on, did it tell me about that, right mouse button to use, but it doesn't tell me how to do that, okay, hang on then, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, drop item Q, okay, Q, oh god, it drops them one at a time, and oxygen's going low, <gasps> and breathe. There we go. Right, go back out. So, uh, drop, drop, drop. There we go, that's all dropped. We will make one of those. Um, that's fine, we will actually drop that. Um, slightly wounded, how am I slightly wounded? This is bad. I'm guessing I dropped something on my foot. Um, eat that. I have to go outside and... Pull that up again. Right. Uh, drop the stew. Drop the stew. There we go. Then we'll make a, ha uh, a hearty meal, which will use several things. The base is leaking. That's not good. That's far from good. Ah, there we go. We just, just, we just touch it once and it fixes itself. Right, so we'll use... Uh, we No point in using that to break rock. Um... What I do need to do is, ideally, get some sort of storage solution system. Um, can you make a... Is there a storage solution system? There is! A cargo container! It's actually called a cargo container. Very good. So we will craft rate some of those. We'll get the jackhammer out and... Start jackhammering some of these rocks out of the way, which should generate loads of rock. Yeah. That's easily done. Now we can get stuff out of the way. Excellent. Um, we'll then drop the rocks, because quite honestly I don't want them in my pocket. There we are. Pick that up. I don't know why I'm slightly wounded. I don't know what happened there. Um, we will create this. Oh, we can't because we're full. Okay, definitely, definitely need to uh, get a storage solution system up and running. What else have we got? We've also got a nav light, small self out light for finding your way in the dark, and an oxygen tank, so it's for breathing air. Oh, so you can just carry it around with you. Okay. So this is um, a storage which we'll put in... Uh, we'll probably just dump it there for now. This is now being sorted. Craft some more. And oxygen again. Sorted. Okay. And I don't know why I'm injured. I'm guessing because I'm running out of oxygen. Is that the case? Don't know. Anyway, so in storage we will put in the seeds, the fruit, the... We won't put the plant slop in there, we'll pick up that, we'll put the rocks in there. And what do we need to make? Don't need to make a gear because that's all interim components. Biofuel generator is going on okay. Um, but we are now running out of stuff. Running out of gear, so we need... We need a solar panel. I think that's the long term. For that you need electronics. For that you need wire. So we'll craft one wire. We'll craft one electronics. Craft one wire. Craft... Don't have the, we don't have the parts, but we can pick that up. We'll go inside here. Hang on. Just uh, fill up on the oxygen. Yeah, see what happens? This, this um, immediately stops generating oxygen when it's full. Which makes sense, because it would overpressurize it, and then there'd be an explosion, and that would be bad. Right, so we'll craft a solar panel. So this will only produce power in the daytime. Which makes perfect sense. Because otherwise we'd be in backwards land. And we'll place this uh, behind the generator. So this is always getting some power. 
And we're going to do, because they see the fans spinning down. It'll uh, spin back up once I'm in here. Yeah, job done. Open that up. Get the plates. It's a fairly relaxing game, this. I don't know what it is about it that I do find so... Moorish. It's quite good. Very simple, but, you know, sometimes you want that. You know. After playing some stressful rounds on Rainbow Six Siege, or um, trying to defeat um, entire evil ideologies in Hearts of Iron 4, or in Interstellar Empire, in Stellaris, or other games are available, trying to break into things on Heat Signature, you know, whatever it is you're doing. Um, this is just like, you know what? I can just walk around as a cat on the moon, or other planets are available, and just enjoy it. Ooh, and I've just picked up a radioactive ore, which is sitting in my pocket. That can't be good. Um... Anyway, we've opened this up here. You can see this is still going now because the solar panels are uh, generating all of the power. This is not and won't be because we are, we don't have any biofuel to put in there. Ooh, it's windy now. Nice weather effects. Uh, we'll create another. Ha we'll create a habitat module, and I'm guessing. Ooh, okay, this is probably not good to be out here. Um, let's go back. I want to pick that up. Go back inside, and I'm hoping you can place it. Yes, you can. You can place it inside, and then it should go adjacent. So this is going to go... Um, oh, there you go. See that? It went to 75. There we go. And then it filled that. Perfect. So that's no longer generating anything. Um, that's because we were out of biofuel. I do have most of the resources I need. An RTG, um, you do need whatever that is, some sort of... Or, uh, we've also got this here, which is a greenhouse. So we need cable. And you need a... Oh, you need a one of those. So hang on, if I pick up the said one of those, like that, then I can actually create myself a greenhouse. No, I can't. I will drop... I will go to this and drop the rock in there, because we don't need it. Uh, we're very hungry, so I'm going to eat that there. Mmm, nice hearty meal. Just, just eat, yeah. Just eat everything while you're outside, why don't you? Um... And it's now getting all dark. Oh, dearie me. We should be alright. He says. Um, and we'll place that there. Good grief, it is absolutely pitch black, isn't it? You can't see a thing. I right, open that up. That should have been sorted now. So what's the long-term... Oh, well, look, that'll be good. And that's a power switch. Better manage your base's power. Alright, so let's start putting that sort of gear in. Um... In the long term, you want probably want an indoor storage, you want a water supply, holds water for your greenhouse. Yeah, because I think you have to manually... Do you have to manually um, water the plants? I think that is the case. What I'm going to do is just t take all this and turn that into water. Um, if I go inside... Uh, that's watered. And then you need to put some some plants there or something. I'm guessing. Um, which could be absolutely anywhere. Uh, certainly nothing around here at the moment because it's, uh, it's very dark. Very dark indeed. Although I could start digging this out to get some of that ore. Hmm. <sighs> but. God, this, this, I tell you what, I don't know what, there's another radioactive ore. So we've got two radioactive ore. So I wonder what it takes to make an RTG. RTG is there, and then to make that, whatever that is, um, we don't have the option here. Long range communication and navigating, that seems interesting. I could make that. We'll make some wire, make one of those, and ah, oh, the solar panels are now covered in muck. There we go. Now we're clean. Right. Um, yeah, we have a bit of a problem. That's that there's no... As far as I can see, no... Uh, oh, plants. There's the plant there. We have to be more... We have to be more... Um, conservative when it comes to our food. So, what I'll do is I'll put this seed inside that. Because that is now watered. There we go, and that, oh, no, now it requires water. There we go, and it is now generating. Is it generating? Doesn't say. 
Oh, and I've just picked it up by accident. Oh, well, that didn't work out. Uh, I'm guessing you need a supply then? You must need a supply, which is strange. So, well, it's not strange, but um, it's problematic. Well, there you go. You can. I don't know what, what was up there. Very strange. Either way, that is a little bit of Moonbase. Like I say, I quite like it. It's a very simple game, but, you know, sometimes that's fine. You know, just have a little mess around. Um, build a base. And got some resources. I'd like to make a moon buggy. Like I say, you can make one. Interested to see what... Well, that rainwater collector obviously collects uh, filters, uh, water from the rainstorms. We haven't had one of those yet. We're a dust storm. Uh, we'd need some water supply. We'd need indoor storage. we need a med bay. We'd also really interested to see what that comms tower does. And uh, we've also got a repair drone. Automatically, a drone that automatically can repair base modules. Um, yeah, interested to try that bit out. But... Uh, not today, not today. Either way, there's a bit of moon base. Links in the description so you can check it out yourself if you do so desire. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.